Hey, Legacy family and friends, happy Tuesday. As I was reading through chapter 6 and 7 through Mark this week, we hear Jesus continue to be ridiculed by these religious teachers and we hear about the gruesome death of John the Baptist and we continue to hear these amazing miracles as Jesus is walking through these cities. And as Jesus continues to be pressured by these religious leaders and asked, how can these disciples eat without performing their hand-washing tradition? Watch how Jesus responds in Mark 7, chapter 14 through 15. He said, Then Jesus called to the crowd to come and hear. All of you listen, he said, and try to understand. It's not what goes into your body that defiles you. You are defiled by what comes from your heart. I think at some point we have to say that we're done with this hate that continues to happen in this world. Sometimes we've got to look what's inside our heart and what's coming out of our heart right now. And see if the words that are coming out of your mouth matches the same as what Jesus is putting onto your heart. We got to stop playing church. I'm sick of turning on the news every single day and hearing about the hate in this world because we don't have Jesus on our heart and we don't show it to each other every single day. The only way we can stop this hate is by putting Jesus on our heart and letting that love for Jesus come from our lips. I challenge you today. Think of something in your life that's not pleasing to God. Maybe it's words from your mouth of when you're talking about your neighbor or the people around you that's not pleasing to him. Maybe your heart's hard right now and you can't forgive someone and you've been holding on to it for days or months or years. I pray that you're able to let go of that today. But we've got to stop playing church. It's not about our traditions or how many times you read your Bible or how many times you go to church every single Sunday. It's about what is coming out of your heart and is Jesus coming out of your mouth and out of your heart every single day. I love you all. Come join us Sundays at 11 a.m. Love you all and I'm praying for you. Talk to you next week.